Hey folks, I'm Filler B, and welcome back to Stellaris. We are here with the Council of the Great Bloom, and uh, we are looking to shake off the overlords we have here. The Aklaren Star Empire, I believe, is our overlord. And uh, yeah, to do so, we need to expand our territory, get more worlds, develop more strength, develop a better economy, because our economy is not great at the moment. It's not terrible, but it could certainly be better. And uh, through all that, build up our military strength, which is kind of terrible at the moment. But our empire is a little bit spread out, and that's because of the nature of our origin, which is the um, fruitful partnership. We have little seed pods we can put on galactic flora and fauna, and they help colonize other worlds for us. So we colonize this world over here. We have another one here we could. An Arctic world. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we should get that one done. And, uh... Lots of other worlds out here to colonize. Ooh, another arid world and a desert world. Sounds super. So we've managed to claim this little corner of the galaxy. I should probably grab this system uh, as soon as I can so that I can block off these guys from making that jump over to claim this world and blocking me out of this whole territory, which would be very good, especially since this is a decent sized desert world. Uh, we're hoping to make friends with the Creeping Forest and the Collective here. And the Huggles over here. Um, maybe even the Hive, if we can, uh, to try and throw off our uh, Overlords. So let's unpause and see where we're at. Uh, I'm gonna pick this up to speed two. Let's see what we're researching. Oh, okay, just to say, what are we researching at the moment? Wait, this is it. Colonial colonization, perfect. That raises our leaders. Up by one, because currently we were slightly over because we have a uh, special leader at the moment. Um, and unlocks planetary capital and the Hall of Judgment. So what do we want next? I need more food, so let's grab the food one, especially since it's really fast. Yeah, the civic slot ones would be very helpful too, but let's grab the food one very quick. We're also researching the auto cannon. that's good. We'll probably upgrade all our Corvettes with auto cannons, And then the envoys and research speed also good. Faction founded. Offering. Special project complete. Successful extraction. We've successfully extracted the rogue scientist um, from the PFDLs that were tragically gunned down when they launched a suicidal attack against our forces in a futile attempt to protect their god. If you remember in a previous episode, one of our Observation scientists disappeared onto a planet, and then we rediscovered them as a godlike figure that was advancing the culture of the civilization completely against our own first contact protocols. So, our legal system will now deal with the scientists, but the impact of these events on the planet civilization must be immense. They still possess uh, some of our technology, and their deity has just been spirited away by invaders from the stars. Unfortunate. So, that's these people here. They're in the machine age. They're highly aware of us. They are eager. Cool. Yeah, we can't uh, reveal our presence just yet, but hopefully we can soon. They have an ocean preference, which is fun. They're intelligent, they're rapid breeders, they're resilient, they're fleeting, and non-adaptive. Yeah. Neat. So hopefully we can get them to be uh, nice people. So these are our transports. I'm just going to delete them because we don't need them. Implicated in a plot. We have been implicated in a plot against the Harmonious Huggles. Okay, that's some negative. Um... Uh, negative... Espionage on against us is too bad. Some Leviathans, super. Relaying transmission. This silly agreement. All right. What do you want now?
wants to increase his hold limit. And wants us to pay a whole bunch of stuff. See, I really... One thing I dislike about this system is that because the AI can track everything at the same time, all the time, the player really loses track of when these agreements come up. There's no warning. I think there should be a warning up here. Your agreement will come up for renewal in whatever, six months, something like that. So that we remember to take a look, but man, oh man, we do we not. Negotiate agreement right now. I'm paying a bunch of both of these things, which I don't want to pay at all. I want to lower this down to zero, and this down to zero, please. I'm just going to leave this hanging here and this ignore it for a while. Zevin Labs, I'm just going to grab that. So maybe we can uh, fix this up. Okay, you're done here. Please move over here and build that outpost because it's critical. No, actually, don't fill that outpost. Just come here. Because I want uh, the influence. A whole bunch of these. There's the, uh, the raiders. Special project complete. Excellent. We gain a whole bunch of research stuff. Science officers, Bronze of Lavender, has finished their expedition on this planet and returned to our science ship. Thankfully, the starship graveyard on the surface proved to be a technological treasure trove. Studying the remains of these vessels have advanced our research in certain fields by several years, and there are yet things to be discovered. Permanent signed outposts in orbit will be a great boon for our starship engineering efforts. Giving me a whole bunch of engineering research. Cool. Let's hold off for a minute. Got a favor. Confusing signals, yeah. Special project complete. Whiff of something. The box is indeed a document of sorts. Science officer Petals of Brown admits that they had been hoping for a historical record of some other kind of Kodak significant to whatever culture left it behind. They were disappointed. The true nature of the aromatic box seems to be a collection of fairly short narratives, which, going by rapid changes in odor towards the end of each sequence, are intended to be surprise or un, uh, interpreted as comedic. 
the techniques used to store the and reproduce the specific smells is of some interest, but the tales are not. Joke's on us, eh? Did we get some more? We did. Brazzatis. are all... Oh, why do we have a science ship doing nothing? That's you. In my worlds, there's one there. One here. Why don't you grab that one? When you're done that, please grab that one. Technology researched. Uh, we got the envoys and research speed. That's excellent. Um, let's get the FDL inhibitors. Two, two, three, four, oh, nine, eleven. That's in three days. Not quite out of this yet, so I'll hold on. see about setting up a job here. Yeah, you're my industrial world. Uh, you should be the mining world. Because of this. You can be whatever you want to be. Capital could really use the space here. For the time being, let's build a... Uh, an industrial district there. So much of a decline. So they want to take all my research from me. And I think more of this, right? I, uh... Negotiate agreement? No. Just the research. Research and increase the holdings. Let's see if we can cheese this. So if I do... This and this and expansion permitted. I need nine. Otherwise, so it's an influence tithe to the overlord. I do this instead. It's too much. Do this. I do this, what do they say? They are likely to say no, but not by a lot actually. You can probably get some favors with them. Let's make sure we do that. Alright, so let's go back down here. I can deal with the increased expansion cost, I suppose, but let's get rid of this stuff. my agreement. 
Is that uh, under governments? No. Is that under. I wonder what that's under. there was this page where you could look at your agreements. And I may just be missing it here. Agreements. There we are. They did get everything they asked for. Did I spend the influence? And somehow I've still managed to spend the influence. That's irritating. All right, well, it's gonna cause me huge troubles next month. Actually, no. The opposite happened. We agreed to their agreement and then they agreed to ours, reversing what they had done. Ha! We cheese the system. Perfect. Ah, that means in Arcadia I don't need to build this. Instead I can build something else. Um, maybe this? I need 125 more. Everybody else has got jobs, except for you, while well, you're building the administration in the Ag District. Yeah, let's get you going with another generator here. And then uh, we'll continue on our way. Now, uh, how much do I need for... Which one is it? It's this one over here I want to build. I need uh, 69 more. All right. Uh, let's find out my uh, migration treaty agreement. I want to eliminate that. So if I go to uh, contacts and I look at myself. Okay, I have a agreement. Yeah, the science agreements are good. This one I don't want with the creeping forest. So end the migration treaty. That'll help free up a little bit more influence. Relaying transmission. They would like to have it again. I don't particularly want to. System surveyed. On screen, we get the Klagen Nation. Excellent. That would allow me to do this now, I think. Just about. Just about. I have a whole bunch more of those to do now, though. Uh, Alpha, I think. Grab you. Stick you there. Uh, let's also... Um, make sure that we have somebody improving relations here. Do I do that? What are my people doing? Ask leader capacity. My envoy is up to. Investigating first contact. Improving relations with the creeping force is fine. Investigating first contact. Harmonious Huggles and the Marmalot Collective. Let's take the one off the Huggles. Improve relations here. Discovered. Because uh, as we do that, more bizarre. Eh? Transmission. Um, because we may be able to collect more favors with them. The capital needs jobs. To be this. An alien empire is reaching out to us. 
Excellent. Hello, fellow explorers. You're delighted to meet you. Hi there. Pleased to be. Welcome to my home. Relaying transmission. Oh, we lost our seed pod there. That's okay. Embassy, absolutely. Um, let's go to situation log. Are there any outstanding ones here? There are. I don't have any outstanding people. No. Okay. We just met a whole bunch of people all over here. Cool. Are you ready yet? You are. Perfect. Let's grab another one. That one seems good. That one not so good. Uh, this one is a priority because it's another world for us to colonize, which increases my strength. And then the next one will be this one. Construction complete. Oh, I met the artisan troop. Okay, let's go to the contacts. Uh, let's talk to... We have this going on, don't we? Yes. Um... Art is an enclave, though. We do not have the patron. That gives me unity and opinion. Yeah, let's do that. Let's sell some stuff. Um, is that number going up? No, the dark uh, matter is not going up. Let's sell a little bit of food. Is a deal. Yep. Technology researched. Perfect. There's the food bonus I was looking for. Ship upkeep could be really good. Building slot could be really good. Diplomatic weight could be really good. Um, how's our edict doing? Let's check that real quick. Government. Policies and edicts. We are only slightly over. I think that's okay. Could do a leader experience gain, but I think we'll leave that. These are subsidies I'd really like to do. But that's just too much. How much does that tech give me? Only 20. Yeah, let's do a uh, building slot. Yeah, especially since I'm going to be building new col um, colonies soon. That'll help. That'll help quite a bit. Teachings of explorers. Drifting Leaf's crew has reported they have found something spectacular in this system. On the surface lies traces of an explorative exposition of another civilization left behind are some well-preserved documents and artifacts. Send it to our homeworld. Our private collector. No, we'll send it to our homeworld. And we met the Star Confederation. Perfect. System surveyed. Uh, does that let you immediately come over here? It does. Can I colonize this? I need more of this stuff, so let's uh, buy that. Let's sell 500 food. Let's go back here and buy that. And then I can colonize this where I need food now. 500 food. So let's sell minerals. Buy food. There we go. 
We'll call this one uh, Misty Forest. Anomaly discovered. Hmm. Relaying transmission. Our another research agreement. Hmm. Yes, please. And we get another one of these, giving me a Federation naval capacity increase. It also gives me diplomatic weight and another envoy, which is awesome. And another one of these. So what would really help us? Let's see here. Lord of War doesn't make sense for pacifist. Cloaking could be fun. We could be the race to cloak. Maybe. Starbase influence cost and claim influence cost, eh. Starbase capacity goes up. I'm not even near my cap yet. Increased unity is always good. Amenity usage going down is also good. And ethics attraction is excellent. Makes more people peaceful, especially if you become a multi-species um, um, empire. Capacity of nature is not never worth it. Empire size and planets and leader capacity is okay. The edicts would be really good too. Then I could run the research edict. That sounds good. Learning is always good. Shared destiny would be not useful. Let's do inside. Let's do vigor. Then I can run the um, the research edict. And I still have enough that I can run one of the smaller ones: peace festivals, happiness, and pacifist ethics attraction. Sounds wonderful. There we go. Relaying transmission. Establish embassy. Absolutely. Migration treaty. No, thank you. Much as I would appreciate it. Where are you at? You're here. Okay, I'm going to stick you on automatic construction. Technology researched. Auto cannon is done. That's great. Make a forge just do what? Alloys from metallurgists are increased. And min minerals from metallurgists is also increased and more jobs. Yeah. Corvette halls could be good. Mining stations could be good. Let's get the Corvette hall points. Increase our military strength just slightly. our planets. I'm gonna wait to uh, do anything to get the capitals uh, Construction complete. central building built before I do anything else. Uh, also colonize this planet. But to do that I'm gonna need to buy some of this. Uh, so let's buy... Just the 200 is all I need. It is. Uh, let's make this one the rainforest. Sure. And more. Yeah. More of those. Well, we'll do the best we can. Ooh, exotic gas. That's super. Is this one done over here? Bet you it is. Not that one. This one. Yeah. Grab me uh, that station as well. Ooh, observe the moon impact. Situation log updated. Let's have you uh, do that research project. Construction complete. I think that was a little bit more science for me. Oh, capital. Now upgrade. No, one more month. Get to that in just a second. There we go. This leader has leveled up. Currently have level one mining rush, giving me more mining jobs as my head of research. And additional leader trait options plus one as well as leader experience gain. Super. I don't see the trait options here, but whatever. More mining for mining jobs would be good. Let's do that. 
Construction complete. We'll see at the end of the month what that does. We go from 104 to 106. I guess it didn't make that much of a difference. More archaeological sites. Favorite game, but from the wrong people. Favorite game, but from the right people. Perfect. Well, that takes us to the end of this episode. I think we've managed to level up a little bit. We've certainly gotten two new planets colonized, which is going to increase our strength. We've managed to trick the system to giving us a more favorable uh, agreement. I'll have to remember to do that next time. And, um... I have two more systems that we can try and colonize shortly. Uh, probably with the Vizadi people. Anyhow, hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day.